The mission of the Economic Development Cabinet is to lead a broad effort to streamline and support areas that contribute to Boston's economy, including tourism, jobs and employment, business development, and real estate development. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers. On the stage at Suffolk University's Modern Theater in downtown Boston, John Barros, the chief of the mayor's Office of Economic Development, joins Newsmakers. Welcome to the program, Chief Barros. Thank you. It's good to be here. So tell us about the city departments and agencies that the office oversees. So the office oversees about nine different uh, agencies, uh, Office of Tourism, Sports and Entertainment, um, the Boston License Board, the Office of Consumer Affairs and Licensing, the uh, Boston Redevelopment Authority, a small and local business enterprise office, the Boston Residency Job Program. The You're a busy guy. Busy guy. <laughs> busy guy. So why is it so important to have an office of economic development? Economic development really is the underpinning for quality of life in Boston. It, it is such an important an area to make sure it's coordinated. So Mayor Walsh, for the first time in, I think, Boston's history, created an economic cabinet appointed me and asked me to help coordinate these departments and the policies citywide. So give us a sense of how you ensure equal access to the different businesses that are looking to develop here in the city. We have a number of programs that does that and so um, the small and local business enterprise office has a database and helps the certified women-owned businesses and minority-owned businesses and now veteran-owned businesses. And just uh, last month we announced a new partnership with the state where we will uh, streamline our uh, city and state certifications. Once you're certified with the city, you're also certified with the state and vice versa. So any procurement uh, opportunities from the city or state will be um, streamlined for any company certified with either one. We put out information, let people know what's available. We will sit with companies and talk to them, small businesses particularly, and talk to them about what they need to do to qualify for a state or city contract. And so. Um, targeting those kinds of companies and helping them is critical for uh, them being part of the economy. You, you mentioned small businesses. Why are the small businesses so critical when it comes to the well-being of the economic development in Boston? Small businesses are the lifeline of the economic development of the city. We're looking at more than 40,000 small businesses. Many of those are independent contractors, but important, and then a, a vast majority of those small businesses hire at least five individuals and more. And so the majority of our jobs come through small businesses, the character of the city, the feel, uh, the small businesses end up uh, being better circulators of dollars, um, employ our families, really critical. Now let's talk about some of the changes in demographics that are upon us and what steps are being taken to make sure that diversity is prevalent in the workforce development. So, you know, we, we recognize that Boston's a different city today and trend shows will continue to be a far more diverse city than we even are today. And so the Boston Residency Job Program is a really important program to make sure that, you know, our construction sites look like the city, right? And so uh, we've been doing a really good job in, in, in hitting our residency numbers. So the Boston residents, at least 50% of these work sites need to be employed uh, employing Boston residents, 25% uh, minority, and then 10% women. And uh, it's really it's really critical that we make those opportunities available. We also have a really strong workforce development office uh, helping to create the kind of programs and support the training that's needed for residents to find the skills to get them on these jobs. And then lastly, the mayor announced an office of financial empowerment that provides counseling and um, particularly uh, financial literacy, which is important. Okay, so you mentioned the future. Imagine Boston 2030 is, is the first citywide plan in 50 years as we sort of look forward. So how can residents and business owners get involved? Well, it's really exciting to, uh, to ask the residents of the city to imagine a city that's you know, 15 years from now. So we've been getting all types of really good um, imagination and, and uh, imagery. And so we have um, conducted a number of open houses and stay tuned for more invitations to get together with your residents and neighbors, not only in your neighborhood, but across the city to begin to think about the city as a whole and give us your opinions. Let us know what you think. All right, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being here, Chief Barrows. Great to see you. Good to be here. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Jenny Johnson.